In today's video, I'm gonna go over five more secrets that I use when I'm working with Blondie. You're gonna to wanna to stick around for the bonus tip because that one is a really good one. It's my personal favorite. Let's get into it. What's up guys, I'm Maureen Moody and I'm the Curious Stylist and I wanna build your confidence in your career through education and science. So if you're curious, stick around. Tip number one. When you are applying lightener to the first foils around the front of the hairline, these first foils, cut that foil in half. By cutting that foil in half, it has less foil and product to work through. So it will tend to stay, Blondie will stay a little bit better and tend not to slip because you haven't given it too much bulkiness. That foil in the front for some reason, when you cut that in half, it makes it so much easier for the other foils to lay on top and that foil will not slip if you cut it in half when you're working with blonde. Secret number two. When I am applying Blonde Me, especially around the regrowth area, it really helps to control my lightener if I use a slanted brush. This was something I discovered like a few months ago and I really love my slanted brush when I am applying to the regrowth because it really helps to control the amount of product that I put on the hair and it stops me from oversaturating the hair, especially at the root. With this particular lightener, you don't want to oversaturate the root. You want to apply that a little more dry, like I said in the, the, my first video. So a slanted brush, for my opinion, it is a must have when working with Blondie. It really helped me to be able to apply this around the hairline and not get as much slippage. Tip number three. When you are using Blondie, it is really important to have a foil board. I can't stress this enough. I know that I keep banging on about my foil board, but I didn't realize it till just yesterday or the other day that I started getting a lot less issues with Blondie when I started using my foil board. Because the foil board really helps you to control the amount of lightener that you're using. I found this to be extremely helpful when I am applying, especially around the hairline. That's where the slipping a lot of times would happen for me with Blondie was around the hairline and of course around that round part of the head. When I started using the foil board, all those problems started to just like disappear. And um, I don't have problems using Blondie that much anymore because the foil board really helped me more consistent with the application of the lightener. And that really helped me get a lot more confidence with working with Blonde Me. If you are finding value in this content, please smash the like button and subscribe. I make weekly videos. Tip number four is when you are applying Blonde Me, you're gonna wanna place like at least a half an inch to an inch below the regrowth lip of the foil. So when you are applying it, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get like, you know, right below it and then you inch that lightener up. That is gonna to help to control it. And when I do it, I feather it on with my brush. By feathering that lightener on, it helps to control the product. This is not just good for blonde me, it's good for any kind of foil application. You don't want to apply it straight at the root. You want to apply it down and feather it up. But feathering it up with this brush and the board, it makes a huge difference. All those little details make a huge difference when you are using blonde. Tip number five. When I am working with level five or darker, I do use 20 or 30 volume to lift the hair if they want, if their goal is to be, you know, really blonde. When you are using this particular lightener, you've got to keep in mind, but in the beginning, when you are working with Blonde Me, you really want to take your time and make sure that when you put that on, that you know what you're doing. If you're going to apply this lightener to somebody that's like a natural, level two, I would definitely at that point use 30 volume 
and I would definitely be super careful with how I apply that 30 volume. This lightener is so strong. It's really, it lifts beautifully and clean. I'd like to do a video where I compare Joyco 9, I think it's called Blind Life 9 Plus, against this. And if you guys are interested in that, please leave a comment below. I would love to make that video. If I'm working on a level five or darker, I go for the 20 or the 30 volume. That's when I do grab for it. Okay, so here's the bonus tip. When you are working with Blonde Meat, I know with other lighteners, you can get away with not folding your foils like an origami. With Blonde Meat, you have to fold it up a little bit more just around the front hairline. That's kind of where it really needs it a lot. But I tend to fold my foils a lot anyway. I know that some people think it's a time waster, and maybe it is, but I find with Blonde Meat, it's a necessary step so that it stops the foils from slipping. Take the time to fold these up. The lift for this product is beautiful. It lifts cleanly. It lifts really well. And what I love about it is I get to do a couple of extra things when I am working with this light there that I find this lightener is easier to work with when I'm trying to bring my client to the next level with their lightening experience. I'll get into that more later. It's This lightener is sort of like Mariah Carey. It's gorgeous voice, beautiful face, does the job, but it's a little temperamental, a little deviant, but it's worth it and that's how I feel.